What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Ah, so it's Fundrise Friday. Just had a really good workout. Worked a 12 hour shift. Worked out around like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Felt amazing. So um, feels good to get back in the swing of things, honestly, with the uh, economy going better. Man, I, I don't know what's hotter, man. Um, you know, Florida right now on the beach or the stock market today because, man, it blew up today. And I'm sure a lot of your guys' uh, portfolios just blew up. So that's the thing. That's a public, you know, uh, you know, public uh, stock. Now let's go back to the private stocks. But let's talk about compound interest and fundrise and what I've done over time and the power of compound interest. So I really you know, showed some of my projects, how things are looking, but let's just see just dividends. Now this is not appreciation, this is just dividends and how they have increased over time. So this is gonna be a kind of a brief video, but um, you know, I put money in uh, M1 Finance you know, the compound interest is kicking in. I made some money from Unilever and I made some money from Discover. And, um, you know, obviously I'm up like, I was up at like $700 today with a $6,000 portfolio. I think I was up 35%. But, you know, the thing is with Fundrise, I put in some money, put in right around $10,000 and watch these dividends over time with compound interest. Just by reinvesting the dividends, once I started putting more money in, and watch these things start growing. So it started off at $74, okay? Then it jumped up to 95, and I kind of backed off, okay? You know, the appreciation started coming in. You know, I'm making money from dividends and appreciation. Then it started to increase over time. So went from 74 to 95 to 106. Then it started to slowly go up with the dividends and the appreciation. Now, again, these are just dividends, okay? I'll show you, I'll go back to my uh, portfolio in a second, but this is just the dividends going up. Now, this is the first quarter of uh, 2020, but you notice that these are slowly starting to go up each time. So, you know, this is a th the great uh, thing with the balanced portfolio, okay? So I made, $684 on appreciation. And so far I'm making, now appreciation I can understand with the stuff going down, you know, because of the, um, you know, issues with real estate. I made $134. I mean, think about this. So I really, you know, in the long run, once I start really kicking off with my M1 finance and once these dividends, I mean, I have a goal in my M1 finance portfolio, which I will post a, a new video on Monday on my, uh, I have a new strategy that I plan on doing. And, um, but I wanna discuss this first, you know, this is growing over time. Now, reinvesting the dividends, the compound interest will come in. Obviously, if I put in $100 a month, this would grow a lot more, but you know that the appreciation will cover the, uh, the dividends in the long run with the balanced portfolio. So, you know, the return that I'm getting is pretty nice and I'm just gonna reinvest and reinvest and reinvest. So a lot of you guys are asking me if I would put money in. Uh, if I had a lot more money, if I wasn't saving up for grad school, I would probably put 200 in my M1 finance portfolio and 100 in the Fundrise a month. But, you know, with the appreciation and the balance investing, this is why I think you need to be, my. this is my honest opinion, again, I'm not a financial advisor, either be in the balance one or the long-term one because the appreciation is really where you start making the bank and the dividends, you know, will help out. So once you look at the, uh, the e oh, stupid spy hunter and stuff, I need to delete that. Of course it ruins it for everything. 
So the e-cost e-rate and the growth e-rate, you know, these are these e-funds are ramping up right now. So once it's operational, like my M1 Finance and the Death Star, it's going to be pretty dangerous. It's going to really start giving you the cash. So, you know, the thing about being in Fundrise, let's just go back. The thing about being in Fundrise is you're in it for the long term. And same thing with Rich Uncles. Now, make sure you guys watch my previous video on Rich Uncles because this is why I'm glad that I diversified in Fundrise as well as Rich Uncles. I will post that video in the top hand corner as well as um, you can watch watch it at the end, which I'll post it. It's very, it's very, very, um, it sucks to actually read that because, you know, you, you put money in and it's not as diversified as Fundrise. It's not as powerful as Fundrise. And it's a big risk. And, you know, it's going to take like two years to fix itself. But with stuff going on and all this stuff going on, $95 versus somebody suspending their dividend, that's not bad at all. So it's well managed by Fundrise. Uh, things look really good. And, um, you know, this is the thing again, the appreciation, okay, the reinvesting and I mean, I reinvested a $1,405.32 pretty much into my um, dividend uh, portfolio. So, you know, the compound interest is going to take off. And, you know, when these bad boys are ready to go, we'll see what this is made of because this is just ramping up. Rich uncles, I mean, it, it's just, it's unfortunate what happened because they're so diversified. And it, I mean, it's, it's such a great portfolio, but, you know, something like the, the bug really affected it. But these guys are so strong. Um, one thing that concerns me I don't know if you guys notice, you know, I don't like to discuss politics, but this can be an issue that I see with um, real estate in you know, a lot of these uh, places in Los Angeles is, so there is that incident with the video of the um, police officers, looked like they shoved a, a 75 year old guy, fell on the ground, cracked his head open, and I'm reading, you know, news feeds that, um, you know, these two guys were suspended and the, to send a message to the mayor, it was like 57 police officers resigned or something. So, I mean, the mayor in LA was talking about, or I don't know if it's the mayor or the governor was discussing defunding um, the police departments. And there are three people right now, I'm going to be honest with you, there are three people, three professions that you do not want to piss off right now. One of them are nurses. I'm a registered nurse. I've worked on the floor. And I can tell you that there are numerous nurses across the nation who have quit their job and because they felt like their licenses were on the lines on the floors with the bug and nursing nurses that stay on the floors are understaffed and they have no backup and these people are dying right and left that is a fact i um you know people you, you don't want to chase away nurses this this happens all the time you know it you know nurses in the icu instead of getting two patients they get three patients unsafe and um you know nationwide you know hospitals are taking a hit and physicians are stressed because of admissions and all this stuff so those are two in the healthcare profession you don't want to piss off because you know it's it's just not safe when you're understaffed 
The other thing is, if you piss off police officers, and they all of a sudden, I mean, this is like the doomsday scenario, they all of a sudden just said, see ya. And Los Angeles is in complete chaos. I mean, I don't see that happening, I, you know, but um, that's one thing that I can see happening to fundraise with having a lot of issues. I'm going to be honest with you. That's kind of like the doomsday scenario because, you know, there's desperate need to make sure that people are safe. And, you know, unfortunately, there are riots going on. There are some in, in Los Angeles. There are some nationwide. There still is the bug out there. I don't know if you guys saw in the news, but five Alabama football players that look like a, a one source said that, uh, you know, they have COVID. Oops, I shouldn't say that, but I accidentally said that. But, you know, nobody's invincible. And this is the importance of being diversified because of Fundrise Rich Uncles take a hit. I still have you know, my uh, 401k, unfortunately, my employer suspended employee er, their contributions for the rest of the year. I, I'm sure they'll, I mean, you know, we're busy now. We are busy. So hopefully that'll change. But, you know, we, um, we got, we took a hit there, but M1 Finance is doing really well right now. So, you know, my dividends are, doing really well. The compound interest is starting to kick in. I need to actually pull the brakes on certain stocks because I'm buying way too many and just the compound interest is not going to sure the part, you know, my portfolio will grow, but I need to put the brakes on, you know, my stocks and go from there. But I'm just giving you like a doomsday scenario, you know, if property gets damaged because of riots and stuff, because you know, there's a West Coast E rate and East Coast E rate and growth E rate. That's the one thing I see happening. Now, heaven forbid this doesn't happen, but this potentially could happen in effect fundrise. So, you know, this is um, a crazy time. This is one thing that I see affected. And, you know, people are walking out because they're pissed off. You know, you do not want to piss off certain people right now because, you know, you are in dire need. You know, there are people that um, peacefully protest, but you also need people to protect, you know, those people who are protesting so that a, you know, radical person doesn't come in and start attacking the protesters or shooting at the protesters or something very crazy, you need security. And as a nurse, you, you know, hospitals need nurses to take care of patients. So, you know, I just um, went out the other day, one, a couple of you guys, I was doing, uh, you know, I got some flights and I at one of the local breweries and I did a cheers text to some of you guys out there that I'm pretty tight with and um, a distance cheers text and um, you know one of the um, bartenders I know and I, I didn't even know like um, I was um, I took care of her family member and um, and I, I put my foot down and I'm, I might have saved her life you know sending her here and there and putting my foot down we were very understaffed and you know I sent her to a area where she needed to be taken care of. I, you know, she was a former nurse and I promised her that, you know, from a nurse to a nurse, I will not let you tank on me. So, you know, you need nurses, you need um, people uh, to protect and to heal. And that's the only thing I see really affecting Fundrise is if all of a sudden people walk out or there's just a lot of damage and destruction. This is the thing that I think can really affect them. And, um, you know, that can be a systemic issue within the fundrise. Now, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm kind of giving you like a doomsday scenario, but look what happened to rich uncles on my account. So, 
you know, things can happen. That's the importance of a diversified. There's a phrase, don't put all eggs in the one basket, but just in case, you know, you gotta have money and other things. I believe that you should have multiple sources of income. This is one, Fundrise is one, Rich Uncles is one. I actually did in, uh, real estate uh, crowdfunding in a movie. It's called Caraganda. Uh, you know, I might do a video on it. You know, it's in production. I guess I get, um, you know, again, again, there's no guarantees, but uh, if you invest in movies, sometimes if they make a profit each quarter, you get some money on that. So I'm like, okay, you know, why not? You know, it sounds like a cool story. Um, you know, you've got to have multiple sources of income. You know, they take, Fundrise takes a hit, O oh, does fine. EPR takes a hit, STAG fixes itself. So if you go on my E-Trade dividend portfolio, you know, one of these guys gets hit in, in real estate and all of a sudden another one fixes itself. IIPR takes a hit, Fundrise fixes that. So it's important to have diversification with real estate investment trusts. So like I said, I'm invested in Ryman hospitality properties. Anything with the word entertainment, hospitality, they're down. EPR properties took a hit. O's coming back. Store, I mean, stock investment analysis had a really good video on store. Um, that one, you know, it's, um, and, and I invest in store. Very, it's a Warren Buffett stock. It's down, you know, it's a diversified stock. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. LTC, they even took a hit. Now they're starting to wake up. So an LTC properties is basically a real estate investment trust that uh, invents, invest in like acute care facilities. So this is the important of diversification because if a doomsday scenario happens, uh, you're okay. So you can invest in ETFs. Uh, you know, there's uh, the Vanguard VNQ, Fundrise likes to compare themselves to that. But, um, you know, this is, uh, there are things, there are factors that can happen. And, you know, we were all blindsided by the bug and um, you know, none of us saw this coming. I mean, you know, there's probably going to lead to an investigation, but, you know, you have to diversify. This is the importance of it. You know, this is, you know, you, you have to watch that previous video I have on Rich Uncles. It's, uh, it sucks, but, you know, I have backup with Fundrise. I have backup with these guys. If I get two hits, Fundrise, my private rates, Fundrise, Rich Uncles, I got the other, I got the other backup from O and EPR and IIPR. And uh, I just invested in Well Tower. So I got those guys backing me up. So, you know, that's the good thing about diversification. And sometimes the whole sector takes hit, a hit. So that's why you got to diversify. I'm, you know, invested in Coca-Cola. I'm invested in Pfizer. I'm invested in, um, you know, uh, electronics, maximum integrated products, semiconductors. Um, I'm invested in uh, the Mary Jane rates, farms that uh, grow the Mary Jane, you know, things like that. I um, also have, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, pharmaceuticals. I have Pfizer, I have banks, I have Bank of America. Um, you know, I watched a really good video on uh, Mr. Dividend Investor with Hormel Foods. I was sold on it. So, you know, I am diversified, but again, it's good to have multiple um, sources of income. You know, it's, there's going to be rough times, but you have to be, the most important thing is you have to be a patient dividend investor. It's not going to come over, overnight. Could be a V, could be a W shape. Who cares? Don't panic. So that's, that's the thing. Okay. You know, Warren Buffett appears to be wrong because I tell you what, those air, those airline stocks are sky high. And I tell you what, you know, Buffett, you know, some of you guys were right, you know, with the videos and stuff that I've, uh, passive income, Tom, I mean, got to give you credit, you know, with uh, what you told me, you know, how is Buffett done against the S&P? So, you know, you have to have your own philosophy and don't completely follow somebody's philosophy, but at least understand you should have multiple sources of income. Don't leave all of your eggs in one basket. 
because you know if one you know thing takes a huge hit what are you going to do with the other stuff so you know i know people say that investing is gambling but you know you at least get money off of dividends even if even if it takes a big hit so that's you know this is kind of what i i want to do a follow up on rich uncles with this i want to show you the dividend history and why i am in the balanced portfolio so thank you again for watching this this is another fundrise friday video um, this is Darth Dividend. Monday, I will show you my new um, portfolio that I have on M1 Finance and what I plan on doing. Um, it's I need to really focus on a few things to get the compound interest kicking in so I can start getting some uh, other stocks. And um, that's good. I think you guys might like the next... Uh, the next strategy that I have. So thank you again for watching this video. Make sure you, sub and if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I just kind of gave you a doomsday scenario of what could happen to Fundrise. Um, I see it as potentially happening. Again, I'm not a fin financial advisor. Um, you know, this is for entertainment purposes, you know, as I have in my disclaimer, but expect the unexpected sometimes so that's why you have to be diversified so thank you again and you guys have a good weekend and take care